God? Brian in Iowa wrote, I'm in my freshman year of college and I happen to get a rather fervent Christian as a roommate. He went to a private religious school with a senior class of 15 or so students and he is a creationist. The reason I wanted to email you guys is that he is apparently trying to quit masturbating. He got some program Why? off of triplexchurch.com, anti-porn Christian site, that will send an email to your accountability partner with a list of the questionable sites accessed and what time they were accessed. Now, wait a minute. <laughs> I oh. could use me a service where I could oh. have a friend who could refer me to excellent porn sites. <laughs> That sounds like, like exactly what's going on. It's not, no. No? It's not referring you to porn sites. You put the software on your machine, yeah. and anytime you go hit one of the porn sites, yeah. it sends an email to your watchdog person to say, hey, this guy's surfing porn. Right. So if my friend is surfing porn, I want that data compiled, oh, and you're I want to know all those friend. sites. Yeah. Oh, I can send you a list of links. <laughs> <laughs> Did you actually go to triplexchurch.com? I didn't, know. I did. Yeah? And you know what's God, going on? They've been doing this for years. These guys will go to the porn rallies in Vegas yeah. to talk about how much Jesus loves porn stars. They've actually, they're now promoting, and they've got Ticketmaster behind this, believe it or not, what? a pro wrestling event with, like, old washed-up wrestlers and promoters like Ted DiBiase and stuff. Yeah. Uh, wow doing wrestling and then the main event is going to be a porn debate between the guy who runs this triple x church dot com and Ron fucking Jeremy. No way. Oh. Wait. <laughs> oh. oh, it was it was awesome. Now I uh, let I me know, know when the DVD starts selling. I know that there was uh there was some controversy uh last year about a group that was taking they had, they wrote software that would let you play um the mainstream movie DVDs with their script that would skip over all the objectionable parts. Are these guys going to do that for porn movies? I don't know. But obviously... Because you put in like a a two-hour porn video or put in like, you know, four hours of cum shots. Right. And and it'll play for like five seconds. (laughs) If that. The opening credits, some phone number, an advertisement, and the closing credits. No, it would be like, hi, I'm your new neighbor. Boy, you sure are friendly. Yeah. <laughs> okay, how about he get some air horns, flashing lights, uh-huh. cannons that shoot confetti, yeah. a huge speaker system to yeah. play uh, some Sousa uh, thing, yeah. and any time he detects some sort of rhythmic <laughs> bashing going on the other side of the room, he kicks it all on and flashes the room lights and opens the door. And... Yeah. <laughs> That'll probably break him in short order. I don't know. It might excite him. That's right. And that sounds like a new fetish in development for, to me. Wow. Yeah. That's just crazy. Wow. It's like AA for masturbators or something. <laughs> yeah, it, it really is. It really is. It's a way of, of having somebody else that you answer to, to. You know. And I'm like, you know, I wish... I wish Use I, that guilt as a lover. Get over your hang-ups about sex. <laughs> Please, I mean, okay, if you've got, I mean, I can understand there there are some people who presented some real legitimate concerns about some pornography, about some things within the porn industry. But what we're really talking about here is, here's a guy who wants to masturbate, likes porn, and is watching it, and feels so incredibly guilty about it that he has to install software, register at a site, and find a buddy <laughs> so that any time he feels like giving it a toss, his buddy finds out and calls him up. Hey, man, or did you fall off the wagon? But that buddy, that buddy only finds out after the fact, right? And he must discuss it with other people because the roommate, the person who wrote this letter, knows about. Well, it. college room dorm rooms are pretty small. I guess it'd be hard to get involved in a program like this without your roommate knowing, you know, eventually oh, figuring out what the hell boy. you're up to. I'm just amazing. You know, it, it, to me, it's in the same category as folks like Ted Haggard, who, you know, are so, in such denial and self-hatred and loathing with regard to their sexuality, with regard to the urges that they really feel, 
that they've just, I mean, they've got to jump through all kinds of insane hoops to... Uh, what sexuality? Ted Haggard's straight now. Oh, yeah. Well, the he, first Ted Haggard, Haggard was always straight. He yeah. was just acting out. That's right. <laughs> oh. I'm, I've always been a vegeri- vegetarian. I just like to eat beef on occasion. <laughs> <laughs> so to speak. Ouch. Ouch.